Many Australians trying to buy property are convinced that cashed up foreign investors, particularly from China, have been pricing them out of the market. Now a parliamentary inquiry has proposed tighter controls and tougher penalties to crack down on foreign buyers who break the rules. The report brands the current system a failure. Shortly, we'll speak to the chair of the parliamentary committee behind the report, Liberal MP Kelly O'Dwyer. But first, this report from Tracy Bowden. And the Australian become more and more popular for Chinese. So this is the final copy. So what we'll do is once they sign off, so we're going to uh, translate them into the Chinese. Back in Australia, Monica too is flat out trying to find properties for eager Chinese buyers. Probably 90% they live here permanently, or probably 10% of them, the wife and kids are living here, and the husband's still travelling frequently from here back to China because they still have some kind of business back home. So come up this side, we have a big living space here, and a view here. It's northeast facing. A year ago, Monica Tu invited 7.30 along as she showed a client a multi-million dollar property on Sydney's Lower North Shore. Back then, she had a sales target in mind. This year I want to do $100 million and I'm very close. So did her high-end clients get her across the line? My target was like $100 million, I remember, and I have reached now uh, about $120 million. So yes, very, very pleased. So you've sold $120 million worth of property? Yes. Tell your clients about the rules in Australia about foreigners buying established properties. They have to have a permanent uh, visa from the resident or some of them might have a long-term working visa like a 457 or but the majority of clients are significant investment visa so we call that 188. Monica too is confident that any changes to foreign investment rules won't affect her clients. And on that basis, she set herself a new sales target. The market has increased and the, the, you know, the business has expanded. And yeah, I think the figure should be doubled. So 200 million. Something like that. <laughs>